I'm Caitlin Patterson of the Crossbury Green Racing Project. I'm here in Davos, Switzerland to talk a little bit about classic basics. Okay, so a few classic basics. I'm thinking of targeting as you get back on snow. I hope a lot of people have been able to enjoy the early winter, but I know in the East Coast, the winter has been off to a really slow start. So a lot of us pro skiers are coming off roller skiing and we're kind of in tune with the skiing motion, but even so there's some big differences. And then if you haven't touched skis since last winter, you're definitely going to need to touch up on the basics. Um, so one of the most important things I think is to have a dynamic kick to, to do a nice little pop down onto the snow to set your wax or if you're using skin skis to, to set the kick there. So I'm going to show you a little dynamic kick. Here you can see I'm emphasizing pushing down onto the ski when my body weight is directly over my foot. As my outstretched leg swings forward underneath me, I drop my weight onto the kicking foot and pop the ski towards the snow rather than out the back. My second tip is to make sure you fully shift your weight from one ski to another. On roller skis, it's really easy to get away with shuffling, which is staying centered and always having some pressure on both feet. On skis, we don't want to shuffle, we want to stride. A full weight shift allows you to ride the ski further while gliding and also allows you to fully compress the wax pocket for the best grip. What you want to focus on to achieve weight shift is driving the gliding leg forward and a sense of truly balancing on that one leg. Cross country skiing is a great pastime for this winter. It's naturally distanced. You're outside in the fresh air staying active. I hope you're able to find snow near wherever you live and good luck dialing in your stride and glide.